I even heard some people people on Twitter going, this is going to be the first seven-figure card. It the could first be. I can see someone just card. slapping a million on it because of, like, that makes sense. It's the number one, you know, like, just to try to ride the hype. I can see that happening. I and thought that, that happens, was in... Will that jack up the price of something like this, the Black yeah, Lotus? Yeah, potentially. I thought that was totally insane. I thought, no way. I thought, no way is this going to be a seven-figure card. No way is it going to be more expensive than a graded alpha signed Lotus. Because there's no history behind it. It was literally just printed in 2023 and assigned artificial scarcity and stamped with a 001 yep. uh, over 001. But I did a little bit of research and I thought to myself, you know, I know that they love these serialized cards and, and the sports uh, card world. Uh-huh. And I was like, and I saw the seven figure number. I'm like, how many sports cards have you have ever gone for seven, you know, over a million dollars, seven figures? Uh, what are the most expensive sports cards that were ever sold? So I just Googled and I found this Wikipedia article what and it made me, her. it made me rethink, uh, you know, it made me think about whether or not this could actually become the most expensive card ever, even though it doesn't have any history behind it. The most expensive now card, it's Mickey card ever sold was a, a Mickey Mantle from 1952. I don't know what makes this one so special. It's a graded card. It went for $12.6 million. That's then crazy. The, famous, the Honus Wagner is so like much older. It's got to be more rare. Like That's like a one-of-a-kind thing. Honus Wagner believed that only 50 to 200 of the cards were ever produced. Oh, oh to ever produced. Wow. Ever produced. And what they were in, uh, uh, was it Tobacco? Or gum. I think so. Yeah, at least some of those were back in the day. I don't know if that one was specifically, yeah. but yeah, it was. They were sold with tobacco, I think. And people were not collecting things. these things. They weren't no. like taking care of them. They were no putting them in plastic slabs. In 1909, that this would be worth money. I mean, maybe so, one guy did. Honus Wagner. Now this is where things started to blow my mind. You said this is so old. I thought, why is every? Why, how could the most expensive Magic the Gathering card be one that had no history behind it? The third most expensive sports card ever sold is a 2009 Stephen Curry card. What? Rookie card. Serial <laughs> numbered really? number one of one. Wow. Let's go through $5.9 million. After that, LeBron James card from 2003, serial number seven of 23, $5.4 million. Wow. Then after that, Luka Doncic, 2018. Serial numbered one of one, Whoa, ungraded, 4.6. Right Mike Trout, Mike 2009, Trout. One serialized of one. one of one. Number 14, number. LeBron James, $1.2 million, serial numbered one of one, upper deck, ultimate signatures. There's, they're just all the most expensive, almost all the most expensive sports cards sold were just made in the last 20 years and were stamped with a, a serial number. Crazy. One of one of one or one of ten or you know, so you know people who are have been following this uh, obviously were more aware of how exactly how crazy people collectors go for serial serialized cards. Obviously, Magic the Gathering knew what they were doing when they started bringing serial numbers to their cards this year. But you know, this made me rethink my original idea that no way is this card. That has no history behind it that was just printed in 2023 going to become the most expensive magic the gathering card ever because we've seen how, we see how crazy people are for you know relatively new sports cards just because they have a low serial number attached to them they're not even of yeah. one a lot of these they're just of a hundred or of 20 23 25 the, the ones that are out of a hundred that's what i don't get but i mean so I can understand sort of like with newer wow. sports stars, like if you're someone with a ton of money, maybe you're a sports star yourself or a pop star, you want to have something to show off. Like there's probably a lot of, not a, pe not a lot of people who know who some of these older baseball players are at this point anymore. So maybe it's better to be like, I have a one of one LeBron. And then like all your, that still like, blows my mind. It friends blows know my fucking what mind. that is, but yeah, I, that's weird to me. There's no history behind it. The third most expensive one, Stephen Curry, they paid $5.9 million for it. This was uh, this was purchased by Alt Fund 2. 
the second investment fund managed by Alt, which is a company that specializes in alternative assets. To be honest, if I had some of my money with this investment fund, I'd pull it out after they did this. 